We're in the middle of a housing crisis, right? And so here in the metro area, like it's so dire, the need. Las Flores has been opening. Local officials from Oregon City, Clackamas County, and Metro gathered Wednesday afternoon to celebrate the opening of a new affordable housing community. <laughs> Out of the 171 apartment homes within the community, 12 are set aside for agricultural workers. They can't afford to live in this community anymore. They've been priced out. They felt the effects first. 17 homes include services for households leaving homelessness, with a portion of them being specifically for veterans. Eight of these will go towards veterans that were formerly homeless. Clackamas County also has the Veterans Village, not too far by here in the county, that provides additional housing support and traditional housing for our veterans. So it just continues to carry on that work that we've been doing. The project has been in the works for years, with developers starting work on the project in 2019. So we found the land and decided that it was a great site for an affordable housing project utilizing the metro area housing bond funds that were being administered through Clackamas County. Now the $71.5 million project was funded throughout a combination of public and private funding with $16 million coming from the large house bond measure approved by voters in 2018. So far, many new complexes have been built or are still in the works, but there's still a lot more work to be done. We're going to be out of bond dollars pretty soon, so we have to figure out what is next in order to continue to fund affordable housing development. Christine Lewis with Metro says in 20 years, the amount of housing that will be needed to serve the area is in the hundred thousands. And the process we're going through right now is pointing to 150,000 units of housing needed in the metro area. So it's everything from Forest Grove to Fairview. As for the Las Flores community, residents have been moving in since earlier this year. Now, 88% of the community has already been leased with a wait list for one and two bedroom units. While more complexes are on the way, funding will be the big issue. Portland voters don't want to say yes to a new tax right now, so we're trying to look at where we can be most advantageous of funds that are already coming in, funds that we already have access to in order to support housing for the most vulnerable.